Hey folks, I'm Leah from Printify. You're probably watching this because you've recently connected a Squarespace store with your Printify account. That's amazing. Remember that setting up shipping is another important step toward your e-commerce success, so we're going to help you out. While there are several shipping options to choose from with Squarespace, we recommend going with free, flat rate, or weight-based shipping when selling Printify products. Let's begin with free shipping. This option is for you if you don't want to spend too much time setting up shipping. Simply raise the price of each product to include the shipping cost. Check out Printify's shipping rates page to determine how much you should raise the retail price. As an example, let's say you'd like a t-shirt to cost $17.99, but shipping within the US for your chosen print provider is $4. You'd set the final retail price to $21.99. So let's take a look at how to set up free shipping. From your home menu in Squarespace, click Commerce and then Shipping. Next, choose Add Shipping option and select Flat Rate. Name this option Free Shipping and leave the fee at zero. Then click Shipping Zones and choose the country that you'd like to have the free shipping option. And then save. If you want to sell internationally, you have two options. You could duplicate the product with a retail price that includes international shipping rates, or you can create an additional flat rate for those countries since international shipping costs are different. Flat rates are a good option if you're starting out with a few products that all have similar shipping costs as the flat rate you create will apply to all of those products. Let us show you how to set this up. From the home menu in Squarespace, click Commerce and then Shipping. Next, choose Add Shipping option and select Flat Rate. Enter a name for this shipping option, and then add a fee per item based on Printify's shipping rates for a particular country. If the products that you're planning to sell have slightly different shipping rates, use the average as your flat rate. Now click Shipping Zones and select the corresponding country for this rate. Then click Save. Repeat the process if you'd like to add flat rates for other countries as well. Lastly, let's talk about weight-based rates. This is an easy way to set up reduced shipping costs for orders with multiple items. However, note that this only works if you're selling products of the same type, such as t-shirts, and it's important to use the same print provider so that shipping is calculated at the reduced rate on Printify's side also. In your home menu in Squarespace, go to Commerce, then Shipping. Choose Add Shipping option and select Depending on Weight. Enter a name for this shipping option. Now calculate and add the rates for orders with multiple products. Set the weight of one product to one pound. The actual product weight doesn't matter. We're just using this to identify the number of items in an order. Let's say that a t-shirt costs $4 to ship within the US and any additional t-shirt within the same order costs $2 to ship. For an order with one t-shirt, we'll assign one pound and it costs $4 to ship within the US. For two t-shirts in an order, we'll assign two pounds and the shipping would cost $4 for the first shirt and $2 for an additional shirt for a total of $6. For three shirts within the same order, we'd assign three pounds and the shipping would cost $4 for the first shirt and $2 for each additional shirt, totaling $8. You can add as many quantities as you want following the same pattern. Once you've entered the weights and costs, click Shipping Zones. Select the country you'd like to have these rates for. Then click Save. Repeat the process if you'd like to add weight-based rates for other countries as well. Now that the weight-based rates have been created, we need to set up the weights of our products. This is a crucial step since Squarespace doesn't automatically assign any weight to your published Printify products. Navigate back to the Home menu, click Pages, click on Your Store, Click All, and then double click on the product. Scroll down and choose Advanced Shipping. Add the value of one pound to each product. Add the same weight for each product variant.
then click Apply. And once you're finished, click Save. Repeat the same steps for any other products. Whichever shipping option you choose, for the final step, log out of your Squarespace store and test your shipping setup by putting some products in the shopping cart. A couple points to sum up. If you want a quick setup, go with free shipping. If you want to sell a mixture of different product types, we recommend choosing the free shipping or flat rate option. Lastly, if you're selling products of the same type and want reduced shipping for orders with multiple items, weight-based shipping is a good choice. Great job setting this up. You're now this much closer to having a completely set up store. Let us know what questions you have in the comments below and for similar tutorials, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.